Okay, good afternoon. It's another art uh, online lesson with Mrs. Satoris. And today we're going to draw a chinchilla. As you saw, um, I got the inspiration from my son who brought home his pet chinchilla from college. Uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with our big circle. If you want to Go ahead and grab a piece of paper. It could be a copy paper, any kind of piece of paper, a pencil, and then we're going to just lightly, lightly sketch out a circle that's about six inches. And it's not really a circle. It's like um, Layla, the little chinchilla, is more the shape of an Easter egg. She's got kind of a Easter egg shape, kind of round, a little chubby. And you saw she's got some really big ears, so we're gonna try, we're gonna try to rec recreate those ears. So the first thing I do is I always start with my body, the body, and then I get to erase any of the lines because I drew so lightly. Um, we can see if, how we like that, and I think it looks pretty good. Okay, now we're gonna go to the top of her head. Here, if you look at the middle of her head, you know you can draw a light line down the middle, so you know where the middle of her head is we're going to go a little bit off to the side and we're going to start with a slightly wavy line and then we're going to curve around and f well I ran into my tripod that's okay uh, we're going to make it a little bit of a curvy line and that's one ear and then we have to go to a little bit to the other side and we're going to make this curvy ear as well. She's got some big ears. Uh, then we're going to come down and do her eyeballs. Her eyeballs are kind of towards the top of the head and I'm going to get my pencil going and I'm going to try to get two of the same size eyeballs. We're going to put the reflections in, the little circles for the reflections. And my, re my reflections are always the same on both eyeballs. So when the light hits your eyes, they're always going to reflect at the same spot. Remember, we'll color in the background and leave those two little circles blank. Okay, so she has got some nice big eyeballs to go along with her nice big ears so she can stay safe. If she ever hears something that makes her nervous, you saw in the video, because she can jump right up. And that was when the video was taken when she was a baby, but now she can jump almost six feet high straight up. She's a jumper. Okay, so then she's got a little eyelid, which is a soft little half circle right above her eye. Okay, now the cute thing about her is she's got the tiniest little triangle nose. It's a little tiny triangle nose. And I instead of making a hard triangle, I make it kind of a softer triangle, softer corners like that. We don't have to color it in because we're gonna color this in later. On either side of her nose, she has two, and it's almost the same size as her eyeballs, two little circle cheeks coming out, the cutest little cheeks you've ever seen. And they come on either side of her nose. See, they, they meet right in the middle and the bottom, and then you come out, okay? So those are her darling cheeks. And then of course, she is a happy little chinchilla, so we have to put her little smiley face. And if you want, you can draw a little tongue. Now don't forget I'm going a little bit fast, but if you want to slow this down or pause and rewind and rewatch any parts, that's what's the great thing about videos. Okay, so now we're gonna draw her belly. So her belly is a lighter shade than the rest of her. And what it's gonna turn out to be is a circle that's gonna go all the way almost up to her chin and come all the way back down here. And I'm drawing with little strokes so I can get the good shape that I want. Yeah, there you go. Now see how I, I drew it very lightly because on this side I have to draw a hand, so I'm going to erase a little part. And on this side I have to draw her tiny little hand. So we're going to see that tiny little hand come right out here. She, has, she can grip, grip her little carrot. She loves carrots. She likes to eat straw, and she holds them in those two tiny little hands of hers. So cute. Okay, then uh, she's got two little feet, and they come off, and it's kind of the shape of a candy cane. We always talk about that candy cane shape for the foot. 
and then a line back. And we'll do another candy cane shape like a hook. And then we'll just draw a line back. And those are her two little feet. And we always put nails. Those, these little arches are for her toes. She's got two little toes. Okay. Uh, Layla and all chinchillas have a big fluffy tail that comes out. So we're going to draw like a giant C and a smaller C. It's like the letter C coming right out. And in the end, this is going to be fluff down here. So we'll, we can fill that in later. Uh, the last thing, we put three little dots on, on each of her little chubby cheeks and a whisker comes off of each one of those. And you just draw a line. She's got whiskers. And the next part of her ear, we're going to draw a little line that matches the curve. And that's the outer flap of her ear. And inside here, we're going to draw some hair. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. That is like the outside of her ear. This part's like the outside of her ear. So it's going to be a different color, like brown. And then the inside of her ear is going to be a lighter shade. Okay. Uh, that's about it for the pencil drawing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to switch to color pencils. Okay, now it is time for us to color our little chinchilla. So here's one where I haven't colored in the eyes yet. And we're going to shade them in. I'm using color pencils. You can use markers. You can use crayons. Um, if you have color pencils, that might be the easiest because we're going to be coloring fur and fur kind of lends itself to a pencil because you get the nice little hair strokes that are going on. So we're going to color in his eyes and we leave the two little holes that uh, make it look like his eyes have a reflection on them. Okay. So now we're going to make her fur. This is what's really going to make her come to life. We're going to do short little fur strokes. And when I do the strokes, I start at the edge of the animal that I've drawn and I put my pencil down and then I pull it up. So it's dark at the edge and it's lighter as I keep going. And I'm going to keep going around and I'm going to turn my page. I hope that works out with this video because I turn my page a lot. And we'll come back down here and we're going to do the same fur. She is super fluffy and super furry. So we've got to make her come to life with all her fur. Now, another way you can do it is just color her all in. You know, I, I that's fine too. Um, but I think it's kind of fun to make fur. And at the top of her head, her fur kind of sticks up a little bit. She's got like some tall fur up here. And then more fur. Oh, it's coming down. And so we're going to end up coloring her whole body in with fur. Then I'm going to do her ears because her ears are definitely furry. It's a little shorter fur. So the outside of her ear is a darker color than the inside of her ear, I think. The inside of her ear is actually kind of grayish. So we will use a gray pencil. And chinchillas are known for having very long hair. And I want to try to keep it all going in the same direction. So. And then we'll color the outside with the brown. She knows that's the back. And if you decide that you want a pink chinchilla, guess what? You get to make a pink chinchilla. Okay, uh, then we'll take a look at her stomach. Her stomach's got that same fur. We need to come around there and make it nice and furry. So one of the nice things about uh, a chinchilla's fur, it all goes in the same direction. It's it's not too curly, it's kind of straight. So we can draw nice. I'm gonna make the fur a little darker on the edges out here. And then as we get in, it gets a little bit lighter and I'm gonna loosen up my pencil, kind of make it look nice and light. Hmm. 
starting to look like she has a big round belly. Let's get her little tiny paws. You know, we could even put a carrot in her hand if we wanted to, because she's always eating something. And then we'll color this one in. Yeah. And this is just nice and relaxing on a, on a day where you have nothing else to do, you can just color and take your time. Don't rush it, you know I don't like white spaces. So color her all in. See how I try to keep my pen going all in the same direction. Okay, so now for the big fluffy tail. Big fluffy tail. We have a lot of fluff. So this is all gonna be long hair. And we're gonna do the same long hair and then at the end it's just long hair so i'm just going to go back in and i'm going to keep all my pencil strokes going in the same direction but it's kind of turning all right and so when we get the tail close to the body it's gonna get a little darker, so we're gonna make some darker strokes there and then lighten up where it attaches. Lighten it up as we get out there. And now, see the outside looks really smooth, but her hair is not smooth, so now I'm gonna put some little, so you know she's furry, putting some little wisps so she know, everyone knows she's a giant fluff ball. Okay, now we have to color her other ear. Long, long gray. Actually, my little Layla is more gray than brown. But... So at the base of the ear, where this is the base of the ear, where the ear attaches to the head, it's going to be a little darker. So it's always a little darker where it attaches. And then as we pull out, it gets lighter and lighter and lighter. So we got to get that dark part. And the way you make it dark is you just go over it a few more times. Okay, so we're getting there. Now we just have to finish coloring in the rest of her fur. Okay, that's it for today. I hope your chinchilla turned out adorable. I can't wait to see them. Remember, creativity takes courage, and I'm really glad you took this time to draw with me. Thanks.